I really don't want to be known as the guy who just does CD rebuilds on YouTube, but it's starting to turn out like that because I've bought six in the past year. <laughs> I just find some really good deals and it's really hard to pass up. I only paid $300 for these two CDs. I actually showed these in a previous episode. I think it was like the second episode of my pair of CDs rebuild. And I said I wasn't going to dig into them until those were done and a lot of other projects were done, but I am waiting for parts, especially for this one c -Doo and my Volkswagen Beetle rebuild. I'm just waiting for parts on those, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and dig into these. And it's also getting pretty hot here in Florida, which means I'm going to be out on the lake a lot more. And I want my friends to come out and have their own c to ride. So I already ordered everything I think I need for these. I've already cleaned them up in a previous episode. I pressure washed them, went through it all. Uh, I'll quickly go over what they are for you guys right now. So like I said, I paid $300 for these two C-Doo's. It came with titles, the trailer, and it also came with a part C-Doo that I used mostly for this C-Doo SP over here that needed a lot of stuff. And I'll probably end up using some more parts for these rebuilds. But quickly going over what they are, these are two SPXs. This one is a 96, this one is a 95. They have already been kind of tore apart by the previous owners. He tore off the carburetors and started tearing apart. And I don't really know how to put them back together because I haven't done a whole rebuild on one of these yet. So I decided just to send them off to the guy who usually rebuilds my carburetors. Does a really great job. His link's in the description if you guys are looking to get your CD carburetor rebuilt. Always does a great job. So hopefully those will be in in a few weeks. He also took out all the gas tanks and a bunch of other random stuff that I have. I think I have everything. I just have to put it all back together. But first, let me talk about what I'm going to do to these. They're going to get a full makeover. They're not going to be blue and green and white anymore. I am actually painting these for the first time. I've never painted anything marine wise, so this should be pretty interesting. I'm going to use this different technique that I learned about. Also redoing the whole design. I am doing a wrap on one of them. Not sure which one yet. It's kind of similar to the wrap I put on my Sea-Doo SP over here. But one's getting a wrap, the other one's getting my own personal design to it. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I have to do it first. <laughs> uh, like I said, I already ordered everything I think I need for these. I'll probably end up finding something that I need to order along the line. So first thing I need to do today is pull out the motors. Uh, I need to pull out the motors, that way I can get these things off the trailer, flip them over and get it ready for paint. I also need to strip all the decals off and get all that ready, but once I have the motor out, I think it's going to be a lot easier after that and just getting them off the trailer. Alright, let's pull these motors and other stuff. Yeah, let's do it.
All right, we got a lot done. We pulled both the motors. We cleaned it all out. We pressure washed it. We cleaned all that nasty stuff inside. It was, I took a lot of scrubbing to get that out. Cleaned all that up, brought them inside, flipped them over, sanded the whole bottoms. And now it's time for paint. You might be wondering what I'm gonna paint it with. Usually boats go for a gel coat and gel coats kind of complicated. I don't even know how to fully paint it right. Never done it. So I was looking for something else to use that was a little bit easier. And I came across this video, the guy using this stuff, it is bright side polyurethane. He painted it black and he actually rolled it on, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm gonna spray it on because he said you can also spray it. And spraying's a lot easier. So it looked really good how he did it. I'm gonna link his video in my description if you guys wanna check it out since he's the one who gave me the idea. I wanna give him credit for it. He said mix it three to one with this stuff, this brushing liquid. I just bought whatever he said in the video. So we're gonna try it out. It looked really good. I didn't see an after he didn't like take it out afterwards and see how well it held up but i'm gonna try it out for you guys and we're gonna test it out it was fairly cheap you know it's a lot easier than gel coat because i think gel coat you have to put it on and you have to like put some wax material over it and you also have to cut and buff it a lot of times it's like a lot of work and something i don't really want to do for some cheap jet skis so we're gonna try out some new stuff hopefully hopefully it works out well uh, i will let you guys know if it fails then it's gonna look kind of bad at the bottom but now the bottom is going to go black on both of these. I bought white to go on the top, but I think I really want to do black on all on both of them. Uh, I'll decide that later on, especially if I have enough. If I have enough, I'll probably do both. But if not, then one's going to be white and one's going to be black on the top. Yeah. All right. Let's get the painting. I have it already cleaned up and it's ready to go. First off, talking about the paint, it seemed to work pretty good. I don't really know until we actually take it on the water to see how well it holds up, but just scratching it, it seems to be fine. It's not peeling off or anything. Uh, one thing I do have to say is it's very thin, like super thin. It has a lot of runs in it, not really a whole lot, but it has a bit of runs. Uh, just if you're gonna spray it, do a lot of light little coats. And if you roll it, I think it'll be a little bit easier. You won't has, have any runs in it. It's just, it's very thin, so you gotta be careful. I'm not gonna be too worried about it because on the underside, I'm not gonna fix it or anything. You're not gonna see it. And they're very fine. You don't really notice them that much anyway. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. It's been drying out here for a couple days and mowing and stuff. Also, I built the stand. I think it's gonna work pretty well. It's 
something for me to move in and out if I have a jet ski that needs work. I just wanted to build something that would be easily accessible and I can move it around in my garage. It'd be a little bit easier because I can't pull my trailer in the garage because it's too wide. So built this little stand for like 50 bucks. Next step is to flip these things over and paint the top side. I don't have any more of this paint that I painted the bottom side with, but no big deal. I actually did a little bit more research and a lot of people paint the top of their skis with regular base and clear, like for uh, automotives and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna use, see how that works. And I have a lot of that laying here. So we're gonna, we're gonna paint the top side black, just a regular black base coat and clear coat. But for right now, since I don't really have much to do, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on these seats. I have new foam and the seat covers for it, so I'm gonna peel off all that and get the get the covering them. <laughs> We're gonna make them look good. But while we wait to paint these, I'm gonna go ahead and recover these seats. I bought new foam and seat covers for them. So we're gonna go ahead and tear off that, all that old stuff and put new stuff on it. So I was getting ready to start stapling this seat cover on and I just bought like some kind of simple seat cover on eBay. I think this was like 45 bucks. Uh, it feels good. The actual texture is good. The vinyl is good. It's just they cut it really small. So I had to stretch it really hard to even get it around the corner. And some of these spots, I don't even think I can reach around it and staple it right. It's just going to be a lot of work. So I'm probably just going to send these back and buy some better quality ones. Tried to save some money this time, but I guess you get what you pay for. I didn't add that much thickness to this. I basically just evened it all out because there's a strap right here. It kind of bent in the foam and then there's a piece back here that was like missing foam. So this kind of just evens it all out. It's just some kind of cotton cover. It's mainly used for like blankets and stuff, but use that to cover it to make it all even. Just this seat cover is just cut way too small. So I'm gonna buy some different ones and this is just dust, it'll come off. Yeah, not really too happy with that. I was looking forward to these, but oh well, we'll have to find some different seat covers. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get these tops ready for paint and hopefully paint them by the end of the day. We'll have to save this for another episode.
All right, they are both painted and they look pretty good. I just don't really care for the base coat I used for the black. It seemed to not really lay too flat. It was like pretty rough and it caused like a lot of dirt and stuff to get caught in it. So it's not the smoothest clear paint job. So a lot of little trash in it, but all this is gonna get covered by a wrap. So I'm not really too concerned about it. Even this side where I'm gonna do my own custom wrap, it's most of it's gonna be covered. Just the black is just as in a little accent, really. Only thing left to be painted is the hoods and also like the gas cap and a bunch of other little things. And also this uh, cover up that goes up here for the handlebars, that all needs to be painted. Seats and everything needs to be put back together. That'll probably happen in the next episode. Have the wrap already in for this one. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do for this. So all that is just gonna get thrown on and I'm gonna try to get the motor in next episode too. And I'm really curious to see how this paint turns out. Like I said, the top is a base coat, clear coat, and the bottom is polyurethane. I didn't wanna use gel coat because it's kind of expensive. It's time consuming, it's hard to paint. So we're gonna try this out and hopefully it works. And if not, then we're definitely learning our lesson. And that way something that you guys can learn from, from me. I like doing these little tests for you guys. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. So we'll see how it turns out. And that is it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I post a little behind the scenes. Like I said, I was going to start working on these. Uh, you guys can check me out there. If not, here's my email too. If you need to get a hold of me for whatever reason, get a hold of me from there. All right, let, it, let this cure for a little bit and then start working on the next episode. Bye guys.